Hello everybody. Hope you're doing really, really well. Not too long ago, um, a few people actually requested that I do a shoe collection video. And they thought, you know what? Also, my girlfriend, one of her favorite videos that she plays all the time is a shoe store roleplay where this guy shows off different shoes and taps them and she really likes the sounds that they make. Like, she probably plays it so much that I now know all the words. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do today. Hope that you enjoy and you find it very, very, very relaxed, relaxed, relaxing. So I'm just gonna do this in no particular order. I've kind of made a little pile of shoes here at the base um my bed on the ground. I'm just gonna pull them up, tell you about them, and get some nice trigger sounds in there too. Okay. So here's the first pair of shoes. These are some very, very well-loved sock booties from... I think Topshop. And um, I've got this zipper here. Regularly. I think not only do they look really nice um, with dresses, skirts, shorts, um, they also look really nice with nice tailored trousers or culottes, jeans. Yeah, I think 
think these were a really good purchase because I can wear them all year long and I have like already lots of outfits in my brain for um, summertime with them like nights out or days where it's um, not hot enough like it's cool enough to wear boots which for me is like most days because unless it's like 27 degrees I'm always a little chilly so I don't know where you guys live, but in Canada, at least, when it's the summertime, places keep their air conditioning up so high. So you'd be at the perfect temperature outside, and then you go inside somewhere, and you're like about to freeze to death. So, shoes are um, quite a new purchase. They're from a store called Public Desire, which is an online store. And um, I kept the box because I'm trying to do that now, um, just to protect my shoes from cat hair mostly, <laughs> but also dust and things. And um, just makes it a bit easier to store shoes when they're in boxes. short time frame. Like, I find I have to dust multiple times a week. It's really annoying. So, yeah, I feel like keeping shoes in boxes is a good idea, and I don't know why I never did that. <laughs> okay, so this is the shoe. They're in a box, and yet, somehow, there's cat hair. How does this happen? <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, these I love. Um, if you want to see what they look like on, there's a photo on Instagram of me wearing them. Um, but they're just these, maybe two, three inch heels, high knee boots with faux suede. And they have this lace up detail here. So putting them on is actually really easy. And then they've got a zipper here. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, I haven't actually worn these outside. Um, in the winter, like, I'm a naturally very cold person. Not in the heart, like, just temperature-wise. I like to think I'm warm-hearted. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, so I know some people wear these with jeans and things, but I don't know, for whatever reason, I don't like the way that looks, or like, it just hasn't been something that I've wanted to do. So these are kind of going to be like a spring and fall boot, potentially summer boot, with like dresses, like t-shirt dresses and stuff, like I have some ideas for them, it's just too cold for me to wear a dress in these right now. But probably soon. It's hopefully going to get warmer and I can start wearing this. Because I think they are really, really nice. And um, anyone who's vegan and always in search of nice shoes, Public Desire has some really nice ones. Relatively affordable. 
and I don't want to say all, but I think like at least majority of their shoes are vegan, like they're faux leather and suede and everything like that. So I would check out their website. Not sponsored. <laughs> also, speaking as sponsored. Reminded me. Um, this really awesome company, Daniel Daniel Wellington, sent me watches. Um, forget what. Oh, doesn't want to focus. Forget the specific name of this kind of watch. Um, but it's like a new one that they have at the moment, and they're really kind enough to send me some so that I could show you guys. This isn't sponsored. They didn't pay me. But like, I think they're so cute, and I've never ever owned um, like a high quality watch before. And so I'd have like some cheap ones, and then eventually I just would throw them out because they would get all gross. But because these are all like real metal, you can obviously I don't think they're waterproof in terms of the mechanics. But like, I wash the dishes with my watch on, and nothing happens to it. Which is like amazing. That's why I never wear rings because I cannot be arsed. Arsed. Uh, I can't. CBA. <laughs> to like take them off every time I have to wash my hands or do something. So that's one thing I really need to invest in at some point is like real metal rings. Anyways, yeah. Sidetrack. So they sent me that one. And I also got this one which is like rosy gold kind of color and a white face, and this also comes in a white face, but I kind of wanted to get one of each in terms of faces. But yeah, how cute are these? I'll, um, link where you can buy them below, and they also gave me a discount code, which is Gwen Gwiz, I think for 10 or 15 percent. Again, I'll write all that in the info. But yeah, just wanted to show you that. So, that's the other shoes. Let's keep going. Next, I have a pair of shoes from Urban Outfitters that look like this. They're this kind of faux suede, I guess. And they're lace up. And as you can tell, they're new. I got these quite recently for the summer because all my other sandals that I have got like infested with dust and cat hair, and they just kind of also weren't good quality, so they fell apart. Hopefully these will actually last me. Who knows? We'll see. But yeah, I just think these will really go with anything. It can be bohemian looking, or you could easily make it more of a grungy boho kind of look. Which is kind of how I like to dress summer in the summer mostly. That or sporty. Even though I'm not in sports. I feel like I am kind of into sports. I'm not watching them, but I do enjoy a good soccer game. Yeah, like all the games. So if I don't know how to play hockey or like baseball, I don't look at that. But I'm into soccer, volleyball, basketball. It's super fun. I like to be active. winter you just can't do anything fun but in the summer there's just so much to do I'm very excited I feel like such a loser this is the real me sports ball is life and because they're new I've got lots of um, tissue paper and whatnot inside after. 
after mic brushing, this kind of crinkly noise is like my next favorite. Okay, next up, let's do... Oh. Let's go through my modest collection of sneakers that are very disgustingly dirty. Oh my goodness. I think I might need to do a load of shoe cleaning. that aren't so white anymore. Uh, classic shoe. I feel like everyone has these, but they're just really good for the summer to throw on. Um, they're comfortable, so they're good on, like, long day trips and things like that. Also have some very dirty vans. These shoes are very, very well loved. Um, yeah, as you can see, I really need to wash these as well. Mm, I don't really know what kind these are. I feel like they're just the standard ones. These look great. The jeans, sweatpants, tailored trousers, leather leggings, shorts, dresses, like literally anything. And I just think they're so cool looking. And also, as far as trainers go, I feel like these are pretty affordable. I think they're like $60 or something. Look lovely with tailored trousers again. Um, jeans, short skirts, summer and winter. Definitely very versatile, which is lovely. And I think they're perfect too because they're very kind of professional looking. So if you have like a job interview or anything kind of important, you could wear these and feel professional and put together, but, um, also, like, stylish.
this video is really making me realize that I need to clean all my shoes. <laughs> okay, next up is a relatively new pair of shoes as well. Maybe a month ago, I got these um, from boohoo.com for like $40, which I thought was really good. They've got nice traction, so I can wear these one day where it's disgusting outside and I'm not gonna fall over and die. <laughs> Um, they kind of look like skates in the way that they lace up, but I, I kind of dig it. Um, I really like, I think it's Timberlands, like I really wanted a black version, but they're made out of leather or something. Um, so I feel like these are kind of my version, and I like them a lot. But mostly I think they're great just because, like I said, so you can wear them in the really horrible weather. I could wear this in the summer too, if I wanted to look a little grungy, you know, like a t-shirt dress, leather jacket, looking good, you know? <laughs> and then lastly, I've got a pair of running shoes for the gym, mostly, but I guess they could be cute, maybe for like a day where you have to do a lot of walking and stuff. And, um, yeah, I find these really, really comfortable. I wear these when I walk to the gym and back, and, like, even just regular walking, I feel really light, like I'm flying. Like, I really want to just run to the gym, but I'm too embarrassed. 